there's mm-hmm. a little issue mm-hmm. going on here at the Radio mm-hmm. Ranch, one in which I'd like to share with everyone. Uh, is, it, is this unknown to me? Yeah, Janice Dickinson can't find the building. She's a uh-huh. dumbass. Uh-huh. <laughs> she said she's never seen it. Well, Janice might have been a few places she hasn't really seen. <laughs> Haven't we all? Hi, please leave a message oh. at the sound of the tone, and I'll return now your call. Now, how are we supposed to give her directions if it's on voicemail? Thank you for calling. I'll speak with you soon. Bye-bye. That's not please her. record your message after the tone. Maybe Stench is on the other line with her. I don't know. Anyway. All right, so she is. Uh, she said she's never been here. Yeah, let me give her the directions real quick. She, she, she's probably listening to the radio. Go to the place you were last time. <laughs> anyway, here's a little thing. It says, uh, why do women get married? A new survey finds that it's not what most men think. All right, share well, with the class. What would you think why women get married? Uh, I used to think, although this show has taught me, I would have thought before it'd be for a man to provide for them and uh, be secure and have babies. Jack? Uh, I don't know. Now I'm going to say companionship. That's um, it. I'm going with companionship. A new survey finds that it's not for security or even for kids. 87% of women said the main reason they tied the knot was that they wanted to share their life with someone. Mm. I like that. We come a long way. I feel like smoking baby. a cigarette. <laughs> what is that? Virginia Slims? Yep. Yeah. Come a long way, baby. But but we haven't, though, because according to this, men still think the reason why women want to get married is because of uh, um, uh, security and, and kids. What? Right? You guys- Where the hell have you been? Janice Dickinson fault. in the Whose fault hizzy? was it? Rizzy and my fizzy. Oh, Danny. Oh, God. He's not wearing anything. <laughs> oh, she's weird already. Oh, wow. You look You're frazzled. Good. Oh, her button looks good. Well, no, she looks beautiful, but she seems frazzled. Well, I, do, I had a problem getting here. You know, there were all these, you know. What the hell happened to your face? Facelift. No, she means it's glowing. No, I mean, something's happened since the last time I saw her. Something. What happened? Your friend, Dr. Frank Ryan, recently gave me a, a cosmetic upheaval, you know, with the, with the saggy skin. Uh, I had a facelift, Jamie. Did and you get chin implants? Or no, I didn't get cheek, chin implants. Well, first of all, before you rip me a new ink hole, uh, <laughs> let me. I didn't say it. No, you didn't. I didn't. Say no, it. you just look different. Well, uh, different how? Different good? Different bad? Different, fake? What? Different. different good. My book, Everything About Me is Fake and I'm Perfect. Um, you know, I had to write. Why did you think you had to do something? Did you, you get lo- bigger boobs? No. <laughs> That's what happened on Bill O'Reilly. I sat down on Bill O'Reilly's show last week in New York and he started staring at my cleavage. Oh, which is what lips. I'm doing. And I said, I Mr. O'Reilly, please focus on my eyes. And I flustered Bill O'Reilly. Can you stand it? No, ha, that's ha. good. That's good, yeah. Uh, but Jamie, is, Jamie is, are, you look great, first of all. Mm, yes, yeah. she does. Yes, yeah. she does. No, um, wait, I want to know. First of all, you, first of all, first of all, first of all. Thank you. Um, you didn't need anything done. Oh, says who? The are last time I keeper? saw you, you were. You're not the boss of me. I know, but just don't, <laughs> don't do anything else. Oh, please. You're starting to I'm look looking a for the freakish. Pe- I am not. You know what? Now, watch this. Okay? Okay. Freakish. Okay? I'm going to smack Jamie White. She's supposed to be my friend. She's calling me freakish. I'm just jealous. I love you, Jamie. She's jealous. There's just something that's not proportionate. Well, You're it's also, so it's wrong. new. I could be a little swollen, you know. It's yeah, it's only very, a month very ago. new. Or maybe, like, are you thinner? Something's yes, different. Yes, I lost a little bit of weight. Okay. But, you know, all it's right. all good. Like, I just did, I was over at Danny Bonaducci's house the other night um, with my dinner with she Danny. She knows my last name. The new, <laughs> the new hot show that's going to be on reality. And Gretchen Bonaducci, the greatest hostess of all. You know, we were talking about cosmetic surgery. Jamie, I'm going to be 50 in February. I didn't know if you'd admit to that because that shocked the hell out of me. Uh, my numerical time spent on Earth doesn't matter to most men as long as How I How much of it did you actually spend on status. Earth? <laughs> of that 50 years, how many of it was on her? Being, being an alcoholic and a drug addict, all. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, well, I just, you know what it is? I think maybe it's your, your lip, your upper lip. Is it bigger? No. My, my lips are real, Jamie. <laughs> Jealous. <laughs> no, I can't. There's something different. I'm just there's, trying to put my finger on it. She had a facelift a month <laughs> ago. <laughs> Jealous. I, Can we talk about my book? Well, I'm trying to figure out the thing. Like, there's something different. My, I, I'm, I know the facelift. My, you know what? Right, let me tell well, you no, everything. My girlfriend's had brow lifts, and they both look surprised. It's not that. She's not like no, looking. I don't look surprised. No, you don't look surprised. No, you don't. You don't surprise me, Jamie. You look I, sultry. You, thank you. See, men love it. Jamie's staring at me going, eh, 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 something's wrong. Eh, eh, eh. It's not that I said wrong. I never used it. You said freakish. No, I, I said different. You did say freakish. Well, I'm kind of 
freakish girly because I'm, clean I'm not used to it. and sober today through the grace of God. And I really remember things that I say these days, Jamie. Yeah, I don't. I really don't. Um, but it looks good. Thank it you. I was good. just in, uh, having a whirlwind book tour in New York. I call, uh, I can't even say what we called it. The tour. No, you can't. No. Oh, I can't. No. I'm dying to. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry for you and your FCC rules. I'll behave. Thank you. Thank you. We really do appreciate it. I that. will behave. We need you to. Shout out to Rip and the gas station boys and the PTA. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Shout out to Lovitz. Shout out to all my buddies. Hey, by the way, just let me throw this out there that sure. there is a book signing tonight, correct? That is tonight at 7 p.m. at Book Soup on Sunset Boulevard, right? Yes, right. yes, yes. Be yeah. there. Be there. That's be very there. smart to do your first one in LA there. Because they report directly to the New York Times bestseller list. Oh, I hope so. Seven o'clock tonight at Book Soup. Um, and what is that? Eighty-eight. Well, you guys can. Sunset Boulevard. Everybody yeah, knows yeah, where yeah, it is. Yeah, Sunset, Sunset Boulevard. Boulevard. Opposite right Tower Records. But this is the cool and freakish thing that's happening with my writing, and I would never be able to say this if it if it weren't true. Young girls are showing up at these book signings that are sharing the binging and purging that's in the book that uh, that I was a victim that's to. Hot. Yes, and looking at me and saying and, and saying you're the only one that gets me. These girls are young 17 20 are, are 17 year olds still puking see that guy right there Stench doesn't guy. puke yes he does i'm a puker look he's oh. a total puker no but this is a very very important subject uh, for whoever's listening i mean i was victim to this this horrible this horrible prison um of self which is self doubts insecurities and the minute i i voiced this and wrote this in a book jamie's grinding no it's just it's funny because i have a girlfriend that we believe pukes. Right. And uh, binging, purging. Say purge. Uh, <laughs> purge or I, hurl. I, I, she Ralphs. Purge. Purge. <laughs> Ralphs, hurls. I like it all. Yeah. Um, and I just don't get it. <laughs> Not especially with Danny. You know, having this new show, dinner with Danny. You don't want your guests running she and hurling. Do you have a me. new show? <laughs> no, I have a pilot. A pilot. <laughs> I did but it with she Danny. was in it. She was great. I, I'm so proud of myself. I love looking at myself on the monitor. I love it. <laughs> 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 It's like my favorite thing. I do all these shows like Bill O'Reilly and I was doing all these shows in New York. I don't mention anything on a competitive level, but all I, you know, I did Good Morning America and I was staring at myself on the monitor the whole time and Diane Sawyer was going, hello. And I'm, going, I'm sorry, I was looking at myself on the monitor. It's because it, you think you look different? Is that why? I don't know. I just like seeing myself on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. And I'm I love glad it. that you admit it. I really That's love awesome. it. Anyway, back to hurling. Um, these poor girls oh are hurling. At a, and even men are, are purging their food because it's, it's a way of being in control. I've never met a male purger. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. They even eat off your own plate. Remember I did it for like a month? <laughs> of course. But, I mean, for normal people, I've never met like a, a, a male. Like a, You never hear about male. I'm a binger. Right. A male yeah, binger. Got got half a a binger. You yeah. know, we're all making jokes, but it, it really is prevalent. And I wrote this book because I saw the look of, of hunger, uh, not only hunger, but just but but want. When I did some some shows in New York, young girls wanting breast implants at ages fourteen through nineteen. Yeah, that's crazy. Wanting to look like there Victoria's like Secret catalog. That if you're a, a purger or Ralpher, that you have to switch roles with an Ethiopian starving uh-huh. kid. You know what I mean? That's uh-huh. very like, smart. Like they send you over there and you. You live in Ethiopia, and then you appreciate food, perhaps. Well, they, we can't do that because, you know, we're having hard enough time, times trying to adhere to the rules that are placed upon us by our great administrations. I, it was just an idea. We don't really Wow, all of a sudden Janice, like, got all, like, into it. No, I'm cool. on a well, platform right now because these young girls wanted breast implants holding a Victoria's Secrets catalog, and I was like, no. I got my first, can I say boobs? Yeah. yeah. I got my, I received my first boob inserts. Look how good I am. <laughs> inserts? <laughs> inserts. I boob inserts. <laughs> At age 32, after I had oh, my wow. son and lactated moms out there, you yeah. know, we wanted the sprouting of the milk and the lactating. And, and I, I went through a career, whole entire career rather, rather Can you than, hold on to that for a second? I try. Okay, hold mm-hmm. on. Wrong with you? I'm hey, a photographer. By the way, yeah, with your Kodak little uh, instant camera. I got news. <laughs> this one takes really good pictures in the shower. <laughs> Oh, Janice Dickinson <laughs> is here. Everything about me is fake, and I'm perfect. It's a new book. It looks fabulous. I read a few uh, pages of it, and then my girlfriend last night stole it. So uh, <laughs> Good Book smart. signing tonight, by the way, uh, 7 o'clock at Book Soup on Sunset Boulevard. Very nice. Um, we have a couple of phone calls. All righty. Let's start with Chris. Hi, Chris. Hey. Hi. Turn down your radio, buddy. Hi. Hi. Hey. 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 Hi. What are you wearing? Hi. Hi. Turn down hey. your radio. Hey, Mom, yes. Turn okay. down the radio. Okay, you guys. <laughs> Yelling it louder doesn't help. It does because it makes a boom in their car. No, but the rest of us have to listen. Okay, Jamie. Okay. I turned it down. Thank you. Hi, Chris. <laughs> Hi. What can we do for you? So I want to eat Janice. Yes. From head to toe. Yes. 
<laughs> she turned him off. Well, he didn't he say. He means eat him up. He uh, meant with, you know, toe. bacon and mayonnaise, well, Jamie. Turn it back on. Was, yes. Chris behaves. What do you want to say, Chris? I want to know if she's up. available to, like, go out on dates or if she's attached. Well, Chris, I'm happy it will take your number. First of all, what is your inseam and um, what is your barometer I mean, of humor? I, I, is she attached or is she single? Are I, you dating somebody? Am I dating? Yeah. That's humana, 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 humana. Of, well, of course I'm dating. Who are you Janice dating? Janice Dickinson, who I have had sex with. What is that? <laughs> that's my impression of the man she's dating. John Lovitz. You're dating John Lovitz? I love John Lovitz. Chris, can you, can you, can you, can you handle that I'm dating Lovitz? Oh, yeah, my God. Can. You're we dating... John Lovitz. Yes. When did this? What happened to Rip? Rips he rips around, but you know Rip has children and his job and everything. Hey Rip, you're listening. I'm dating. Um, I'm dating. All oh, you're just outing yourself to, to, to Rip Wait, right now. No, Rip not Rip, no. Rip knows I'm dating Lovitz. Well, you're the one that. Hey Rip, if you're listening, <laughs> you started that. Well, well you know does... what? Rip's a busy guy. You know, and Rip has a lot of things that he you know has to take care of first, but. You know, well, well, last time we talked to you, wait, 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 let's go back to this. Last time we talked to you, you loved Rip. You I loved love him. Rip. He was the best thing that ever happened to you. Is it that you're one of those star effers and you saw oh. John Lovitz and you turned in Rip for uh, the short and squatty John Lovitz? Now, Jamie, just because you were filled with doubts and bouts of seas of insecurities, does this mean you have to rip me a new butthole? Wait, hold on. I'm just asking you, is this the facts? Uh, the answer is no. I'm not a star effer. I mean, uh, if that's to answer your question, because I am a star. <laughs> yeah, <it's right> the <laughs> I am. I am the trophy. The trophy wife wannabe. Right. I'm you have to admit, admit love it would be lucky to have her. Credit card. <laughs> Does anyone out there? Wait, Chris, do you have a black credit card? Chris is I'm long gone. shallow. <laughs> See, Does so John honest. Lovitz have a black credit card? I don't. No, but he's very generous. Oh, that's he, good. Uh, but so bought, is Rip. He bought something for ten thousand dollars at that charity. It was the yeah, first he was guy. The first person with a hand up, with a hand out to, to donate money for scleroderma. Derma. 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 Scleroderma. I'm just really sad though for Rip because you loved him so much and stuff, and you were all about Rip. Uh, I'm not sad for Rip. I brought him coffee this morning. You know, it's important to keep yeah. all of your boys <laughs> and girlfriends yeah. out there. Does Lovitz know you he, bring coffee to Rip? Lovitz knows all. <laughs> So, <laughs> Janice Dickinson, at what who age, I have had sex with. At what I age do you stop dating around? I'll be 50 in February, and my next book is called Check, Please. I'm only going to be single for a minute. I will date <laughs> until I drop. <laughs> I will be a geriatric, Jurassic, full-on serial dater. Wow. I guess there's no, never. You, gotta love her. you know, oh, this is infinity. Southern California, and where the men are hot and the women are juicy. Now, what part of John Lovitz is hot? All. He's the funniest man alive. I, As a matter of fact, yep. People Magazine should actually recognize the fact that he should be a romantic lead because I find him more attractive than George Clooney. Okay, Have you ever retarded. seen him in a, a Speedo? <laughs> yes. <laughs> not, you know, not okay. really. I think funny makes you sexy. It but does. He- he looks like he looks and just live with it. <laughs> but I, I have news. That's your perspective. That's no, 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 that's reasonable. Come on. Oh, come on, Janice. My perspective <laughs> is I see that this man is a romantic lead. He should be starring opposite Gwyneth. And, you know, all you movie producers you out know, there. No, people make fun of that. He's the Danny yeah. DeVito. He makes fun of himself. He's a, a taller he Danny DeVito. DeVito. But he, no, he's not. He's, he makes You're fun like of himself. You're like Rhea, whatever, Perlman. That's what you oh, are. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I love Rhea Perlman. She's a little short, but it's cool. <laughs> all right, when we can come back, more with Janice Dickinson. By the way, one 487 9999 Those are our phone numbers if you want to ask her any questions. And tonight, you can meet her in person at Book Soup on Sunset Boulevard at 7 p.m. Uh, yeah, I already said Book Soup. Right. Oh my God, what? Jack! Can I talk to you for a second, just yeah. without these two like crazy people? Yeah, what's going on? Huh? Okay, so <laughs> I'm sitting in here and I'm talking to Janice, right? Dickinson, right. and Janice Dickinson, <laughs> author of Everything About Me Is Fake and I'm Perfect. I put right. the dick back in the sun. So, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> she says to me, "You can't drink Diet Pepsi, and you shouldn't eat a Rice Krispie treat because you'll get those thighs that you have on Pockets. you." And and I started rubbing them because you know they, my fat sacks on my thighs Ew. they bring me comfort. I, I rub them like a you know a, one of those cush balls or whatever. Oh, you're Not you're in a Brazilian thong. Yes, they give me comfort. And and so I put my headphones on, and she's still talking. Mm. So I pull one of the ear things off my ear, and she's like, pedophilia. And, you know, you've never been molested in your own home, so you don't know what it's like. And blah, blah. 
What? <laughs> well, it's true. Have you ever been molested? Uh, no, in I haven't. Home? But what happened not to only my... Not in my home, but not in my car. It, it's a big issue out there for <laughs> like young people. You I know. The, I cannot I tell know, you the amount of places I have not... eggs and ham. I have not been molested in so many different places. It's amazing. Well, maybe you can think of a rhyme for that. It's a prevalent issue with young okay, people Okay, but where did that go from my, my fat ass it's to your... It's more important to talk about what's written in my book about helping young people and talk about your fat pockets, Jane. You brought it up! Well, I'm bringing up the molestation. <laughs> all these young right, people. she's bringing it up. All the young people out there that are be, that you know have issues should talk about you know talk about these. You issues. should talk a lot then. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm going to get you, girl. You do have a fair amount of issues. That's fair to say. I am. At, you, when you see me, don't look at me as a human being. Just saying, she's got issues. Right. Hmm. That's cool. I like that about you. Thanks. Yeah, it makes you more interesting. <laughs> all no, right, let's talk about your fat don't sockets. You th- don't you think like people <laughs> that sockets. are. Hey, you told me not to eat and drink that crap, and I don't told you this. Don't drink thing. Diet Pepsi or Coke. It has too much uh, saccharin that, that attacks the fat cell. Oh. <laughs> Two of our biggest sponsors just quit. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Drink more water. You'll get more water advertisers. Water, 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 water. Uh, all right, so let's take some phone calls. How about that? Okay. All right, here we go. Let me push this button. Really, because I'd like to take some time to offend Singular, <laughs> my personal biggest sponsor. Really? Yeah, right. maybe we can make some cracks about Jiffy Lube. <laughs> oh, I love lube. Okay, cool. One of them's good. Available at jamiewhite.com. Right. Um, here is Juan. Hi, Juan. Hey, how are you? We're good. Janice, I just want to say, I started reading your book. It's just so funny. Thank you. It's absolutely wonderful. What do you and like about it? You know what? I think it's Your just how nipples. honest you are and the stories. Hello. Like, I thought the Mick Jagger story was just hilarious. Oh, thank you. And I just wanted, you know, I kept waiting for you to go up and slap him. Oh, I couldn't do that because, you know, then he'd sue me and he, all he'd get would be my bowling bod, ball and fishing rod. Hey, uh, are, is there going to be a third season of America's Top Model and are you going to yes. go on it? Yes. Can you stand it? Oh, I love it. So you're rolling in the dough now. It's not about dough. It's, it's another it's opportunity to work with Miss Tyra Banks. Hey, Janice. Yes. I would love if I could get an autographed copy What's of your book. What's wrong with you, Juan? Why are you all wacky? Well, aside from uh, little girls who binge and purge, she also does this outreach to Latino homosexuals <laughs> named Juan. <laughs> I love Latino homosexuals. Well, I, I work in a bookstore, and awesome. your book does really well. Thank your you. Your first one did wonderful, issues. and your second one is doing well, too. Thank you. It's about issues. Issues. Yeah. Well, all are models lesbians. Well, everyone is just so attracted to the cover alone. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great Tension. cover, by the way. A Thank great you so cover. much. I took the parody out of my, I mean, I don't know what I'm saying. I mean, Barbie broke up with Ken, and I want to take Barbie's place and you know, go after Ken in the doll world. No, that's awesome. I absolutely love it. Yeah, because it's they creepy. They superimposed yeah. her head <laughs> on, on a Barbie, and then they even like sewed in her hair like Barbie's hair. It's, yeah, just, like it's a great hair. cover. Like Kimora Simmons hair weave. Did yeah. I say that? Oh. Yes, yes, you did. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, all right, and also I know a, a girl was calling. She was happy that you still are dating at um, 50. Oh, 50 rocks. You know, the hormonal sp- surge is 50 just... 50 rocks if it looks like you. All-time yeah. paramount, you because know? I'm doing a dating I, book. But what if women... Here's an honest, honest question. What do women do that don't have the money for plastic surgery? Because obviously, this is a created 50. Scotch what, that, tape. But the waistline isn't, and, you know, I mean... You're, well, I'm sure... I mean, my girlfriend Heidi weighed 100 pounds, but she had liposuction done everywhere. Look at that. Did you hear me? Oh, my God. Did you hear me? Yes. Uh, liposuction bad. Watch what you stick down no, your gob. No, honest God, she weighed nothing, but she had liposuction done. And I'm like, what? Heidi. Right. Look. She didn't need liposuction. No. Look, if Gretchen Mataducci and Janice Dickinson can wake up with children and hike every day to keep our asses off the back of our kneecaps, that's the way to go in Southern California. Get out there and walk. Okay, so you. great. So you have your asses off your kneecaps, but what do women do that, that their faces... Is say 50. Right, and your no- face doesn't say fifty. You're absolutely right. Yeah, Lie down saying. in a prone position and never get up. <laughs> <laughs> so the skin no, flops really, back the I other mean, way. You know, you're lucky because you can afford it, and that's why. No, hang a lot on. Of, because that's what everybody says about Oprah when she lost all that weight. And you know, if we had right. trainers, and right. if we had a nutritionist, and we if we had a, she- a so chef. It's a good question. What what about uh, women who look fifty? I mean, can they drive get- to Tijuana and get a bro dig yeah. on a di- on a facelift? End of story. Just save your money. Is that sound advice, Jack? No, I've seen what happens. (laughs) 
They we, actually only nipped <laughs> half your face down in Tijuana and blackmail yeah. you until you, you Listen, come up with the rest of the money. I did research Dr. Frank Ryan, Beverly Hills, is the best cosmetic we surgeon really I've like found. We really like Dr. Applebaum. Right. He did, I uh, love Dr. Frank Ryan. Well, okay, you can, but I'm telling you, Dr. Applebaum also is a is a great surgeon. He did amazing things on my sister. Yeah, but he didn't and do so her it's, face. It's, so it's he not didn't even, do her face. Okay. Anyway, so it's not even mm-hmm. um, just the face to the whole right. body. They can make a belly button for you people. Oh, now. Well, that's good. Modern technology. As a matter of fact, after my recent facelift uh i I, love it said you know i still had staples in my head and he said thank god there's not a metal detector at the front door with all the with all the staples i had in my head they do staples they staple the skin back modern technology if you have a car accident or you you need to face your face has disfigurement they go in and they can pull it back with modern technology through staples the nastiest thing ever was when Vince Neil had an eyebrow lift. Oh, my God. And then Heidi said she was dry heaving, unwrapping the oh hair around the bolts in his head. Well, she should have been oh. smart and saved the bolts and <laughs> hawked them on eBay. Yeah, because they're buying Vince Neil memorabilia <laughs> like hotcakes. That's things. what I'm talking about. You could you could now check e- um, eBay and find the staples that came out of my head at $1,000 a pop, and I'll donate it to Sclera Derma. Derma. They're nice. They might not want it. <laughs> Maybe they will. <laughs> All right, let me... Uh, Take some more calls. Good, you're good. Here's Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hi, good morning. Hi, Hi Lisa. How are you? We're good. Hi. I've never talked to you guys before, so this is kind of funny. <laughs> well, welcome. And cool. uh, Janice is here as well. Janice Hi, Lisa. Dickens. Hi, how are you? Very well, thank I, you. I just had one thing to say. I have to tell you that I think you're hysterical. And I agree with you about Mr. Lovett. Thank you. I think he's very See? sexy. He's he's really handsome on the inside. He's so funny. He's, he's so look, handsome he's on the sexy. outside. That's your perspective. You have to Jamie. like cut through a lot of fascia to get to the inside. Jamie, that's <laughs> not true. It's my perspective, right, Lisa? Yeah, that, exactly. But Thank you're you. so superficial that it, it's amazing oh, to me that the, that the has all this plastic surgery and the way you try to make yourself look. Lisa's talking about John Lovitz. I know, you, you, I know. You jealous B. I T. I'm saying so. You're obviously so superficial with looks that it amazes us that you're with like a uh, short squatty guy. First of all, Lisa, would True? you say Am that I I'm crazy? superficial if I have been in back of the camera for 30 years feeding my two children as a single mom member of the PTA? Yeah. She answered yes. <laughs> she did? Okay. That you she are answer? superficial. Yeah. She you didn't, didn't answer? Hear? Yeah, you didn't hear that? Liar! <laughs> she did not answer that. You're just jealous. Yes. I am. Let's admit it. You're just jealous. I, I'm not I am. I'm not drinking Pepsi and, and donuts in the morning. I get out there and I hike up the hill. See, I know. I am jealous. I'm telling you. Come I on, mean, hang with me and I'll help you. No, I think that's the thing. I think you two would be fabulous friends. No, I love her. I absolutely love her. Did what? you see her? Her eyeballs just went back you in the socket. You two together would, would be, be awesome. dangerous. Awesome. Oh, no, we've already talked about that. Yeah. yeah. No, but I'm saying something that she's already said herself is that she, you're superficial. You. I didn't say that I was superficial. You said that I was superficial. Oh, oh, oh. Black credit card. You remember oh, what you said? The black credit card's different from saying I'm superficial. Oh, that means well, shopaholic. It she, means you're superficial. No, it means I want to shop. She screamed out after saying the black credit card. Card. Shallow. I said shallow, which means I only want you for your black credit card. <laughs> which is superficial, but you didn't say it. Oh, I'm Jamie, gonna kill myself. Jamie, grow She's something. Right. No, I'm just telling you. You're having a bad day. I'm not having a bad day. I'm just telling you that for somebody that has their face all reworked, <laughs> jealous. Look- like my friend Pearl, because Dr. Ryan makes all the girls look the same. You know what? I categorically had to walk out of the studio. I, he's given me a new lease on life. He made you look like Pearl. Did you want to date him and he spurned you? What, what's oh, really going no. on here? No. What's really going on? He dated Pearl. I remember when this was fun. Oh, Frank, if you're out there listening, don't worry. I'm in Frank, control Frank, why here. do you make all the women look that, the same? <laughs> Frank Ryan does not. He's going to sue you. You better watch it. And he's not going to sue me. In my opinion, he like, makes it. Everybody. I would sue you if I were him, because you, you, you always make disparaging remarks against him. I don't really Really like him. Well, that's your, <laughs> there. You have it. It's not about his his brilliant work as a cosmetic surgeon. A doctor and a guest, all in one or two senses. Let's Jane. talk about the guys at the Union about- Seventy Six gas station. It is amazing what you do to men because I am looking at the phones one eight seven seven four eight seven ninety nine ninety nine and um, it's Janice Dickinson by the way, author of Everything About Me Is Fake and I'm perfect. She will be at uh, Book Soup um, today, right? Tonight, yep. seven p.m. on Sunset. And uh, I'm looking at the phones and all of them are are guys going, hey, hey, you're hot, Spencer. Yes. Hi. Hi. Spence. Go go ahead with your bad self. It's Janice. Speak, she's, Spencer. Speak. Right what are you wearing? Hi. How are you? What are you wearing? Oh, it's I'm Juan great, with Spencer. Name. Let me talk to him. Be quiet. Go on, Go on Spencer. <laughs> Spencer, are you retarded? 
I'm not retarded. I can barely hear you. You need to speak up, Jamie. Thanks, Jamie. You know what, Spencer? It's you and me. Forget Jamie. Oh, She's jealous. <laughs> can you hear? Can you hear Janice? I have to say that you're fantastic, Janice. Thank I'm you. in love with you. Hello. Wow. In love. I have this odd infatuation. Well, are you straight or gay? What's your the... story? Oh, my God. He's okay, screaming. Well, Hello. I, I don't know. He's For some homo. reason, I read your first, first book, and I thought it was amazing. But now I read your second book. And I think that for some reason you have this ego boost. I have no idea why. What's up with that? I'm clean and sober, and I'm a gay man in a supermodel's body. And she's and dating John Lovitz, and that'll give you an ego boost. Yes. I love Lovitz. <laughs> Lovitz rocks. You're just jealous. Listen. I said, I didn't say anything bad. I said that's bound to give you an ego boost. Clean and sober is the way to go. It's, you know, I'm walking in the light. Thank you for noticing. Yeah, I think it's fantastic, but I want you to adopt me for sure. Uh, well, how much money? <laughs> Is there money? <laughs> wow. I will adopt you. Come to my book sighting tonight at, at Book Soup, and we'll uh, let, me, let me meet you. Sunset sure, Boulevard, 7 o'clock. Okay, Spencer? All Spencer, right, wait, soon. wait. It's 8818 Sunset Boulevard. 8818 Right across Sunset. from Tower Records. You can't miss it. All right, see you later, Come Spencer. Meet me. Here is Aaron. Hi, Aaron. Hi. Hi. I have a question. Okay. I am so frustrated. You guys are talking about how everyone with money has money to get facelifts and all that stuff. And then he comes on and says about the quitting smoking and the nicotine thing. Okay. How, how expensive is that? All of it is expensive. Yeah, exactly. So how am I supposed to quit smoking? All right. Just stop smoking. Yeah, just stop. Yeah, yeah that's Ma- free. I tried, and then it's just, I don't know, can't do it. Well, so guess have a what? facelift. Here's what you need to do. You need lots of vitamins. You need to just replace your bad habits with good habits. So start hiking. You that know, was go her to the iron gym. lung that was starting to ease. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, if she's frustrated, let's help her. Just All say right. no to cigarettes. I take vitamins. I drink Propel water every day. I push two 40-pound kids in a stroller all the time. Well, you, I exercise. You, well, then there I, you go right there. Secondhand smoke to the children. Bad mother. Bad what? kitty. The kids are 11 them. years old and malnourished. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she eats all their food. You're giving them secondhand smoke. You've got to stop so yes. they can have a mommy that lives longer. I don't smoke her. It doesn't matter. You must live longer. About I've, I've lost 27 lung cancer deaths you know, over the last 10 years. Do you want to be a fatality? How many people no. do you know? Millions. So, Danny, can you hook me up since, you know, you are, they are sponsoring you and all that? Sure, I'll hook you up. What, what, Thanks. With, like, what, a free T-shirt? I don't know. I'll go. No, hook Greg her up Nabbit, with the kid. With the smoking thing. Hook so her up. Quit. She's got kids. All right. Uh, call, call the number and, and tell Mr. Nabbit I sent you, and he'll give you a discount. He's going to hook you up because awesome. you're hooked. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. You guys are awesome. 20% off your next loan. <laughs> Thanks, man. You know, I'm going to need one in about 10 years. Uh, I am. All right, Aaron. Oh, stop. Aaron. Bye. Yeah, bye. Oh, boy. All Jesus. right. Uh, what an upbeat radio station. <laughs> hey, you. Uh, you're bringing us down. We're upbeat. We're just nasty. Yeah, well, be, you know, help these people, you know. God, just stop smoking Dude, everybody Dude, I gave that there. chick 20% off a of lung. <laughs> Give her a free lung. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> Sid. Hey, guys. How you doing? And then what's really great is her friend, Dr. Ryan, will make this suture look really fabulous. Yeah, fabulous. <laughs> You're just jealous. <laughs> Sid, go ahead. How you doing, guys? Congratulations, number one show. Yay! Yay we Hooray, won. Jamie and Danny in the morning. Hey, I just want to say, Janice, that you are smoking. Oh. Smoking. I, I saw you in the O'Reilly show, and you look phenomenal. Bill O'Reilly was looking at my breasts I know on national was. television. I had to correct and fluster Mr. O'Reilly by saying, Mr. O'Reilly, please All focus on my Tyra eyes. I was really smart to pick you for her show to be on there because you, you guys together are just both hot. And Jamie, by the way, you're hot too. Thank I you. Jamie's you. the hey, hottest I'm of the hot. right here, no. Sid. <laughs> He's obviously Danny not is the gay. hottest. I'm the one handing out lungs. <laughs> 20% off. You didn't give yeah. a full lung for free. She didn't deserve one. But you're with right. the cosmetic thing, I'm going to walk behind her holding her face. Up Sid, everybody out there, what you don't know is Jamie is flawless. I mean, oh, she could have been yeah. a model. She should be on in Jack, front of the camera. Look at this. She, yeah. is, she only goes to those doctor types, so you know she has to be pretty classy looking. Oh, she's hot. She hot, is hot. an arm oh, piece and trophy. Classy. <laughs> she is the classiest <laughs> woman with the trashiest mouth on hey, radio. Hey, hey, who can want more? That's awesome. awesome. Yeah, that she's like a guy, a really cool guy. She's a tomboy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyways, like I said, you're awesome, and uh, you're Thank great. Thank you. <laughs> well, what are you wearing, Sid? Wait a minute. Back to Sid. Who are you, and we what do you do for a living? I have a black card. You have a, you do, oh, call me, please. Come Immediately. On, bastard, you do not. Dolce Gabbana. <laughs> Nobody has Gucci a black Gucci Chanel. Card. No, yes, you know what? Do. The percentage is like, Sid, what is it? Like come 6%? to my book signing. I will. I'm, I'm 6% be of Americans. And wear a red rose. According to. Red rose. 
According to the show <laughs> prep last week, that because that Ky- that rapper Kyan West or whatever yeah. just got one. Fifteen hundred people nation are in the oh yeah, overall album. Than I want them all to come 1%. to my book signing. Yeah, because uh, you can just buy like a rocket ship with one of those, right? You can buy whatever. You oh want. my god! Whatever you want. Awesome, whatever just, you want. I'm touching myself in in, in, un- in unforeseen places, thinking about the black card. No, there's a. You're right. She, I, I I think you should apologize about that superficial line. I think you almost take it to the apology, right? Shut up. Superficial. So shallow. How dare you? John Lovitz is hot. He's so hot. <laughs> Put hot some sexy. stilts on that guy and yummy. Are you kidding me? He's taller than you and I. Oh, he's okay. six two. <laughs> I think. Maybe he's two six. <laughs> what what you playing with? She gave perfume. me some perfume and she says it's for your um crotch region. Well, it, you know, you never know who you can meet on the way to work. Hello. 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 Anyway, why don't we... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to knock it off and call it sexy. Can I say... No. No. Okay, I won't. <laughs> you see, this country, what's happened to us? Well, I, even I, the original World's First Supermodel, can't even say what I want to say oh, because yeah. of administration and, and, and politics. You know, I feel like less of an American because Janice Dickinson can't talk dirty. I'm America's sweetheart, and I should, I'm a Are PTA member. Are you sure member. that this... It's not repellent. <laughs> oh my God! Do you smell that? She's no. just jealous again, everybody. No, smell that. It's oh, not. No, I can smell it. Uh, it's hot. Oh my Are God! You, kidding? you guys Men don't lean this. down there. <laughs> well, it repels what your crotch. <sighs> All right, you guys. It smells uh, citrusy. I know you will. Uh, I'll fight her. She won't. I'm gonna cut you. I, <laughs> I'm gonna cut Jamie. I'll knock your plastic cheek implants out of your face. I don't face. have plastic cheek implants. <laughs> I have fake boobs. I'll knock that brow lift back down. Danny, Danny, I'm going to be the hottest corpse. If when I they dig me up, if they're I hit her find... lips, they'll explode and collagen will be splattered on. No, 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 there's no collagen in my mouth. She doesn't know what she's the talking about. Corpse now. I'm going to be the hottest corpse when they, and they find my 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 veneers and my and my silicone breasts. I mean, I'm going to be just staring in the casket stenches dying over there. Hey, <laughs> look, it's Bonnie. Bonnie Fuller rocks. Yes, from Star Magazine. It is indeed do Bonnie Fuller. Hi, Bonnie. Bonnie. Bonnie, I have a bone to pick Hi. with you. Your magazine keeps printing that I'm 51, I'm 49, 1955. I came in your office last week. Yeah, we printed it. We printed it that you're 49. <laughs> I did. It's in there. And stop putting me under not normal. Dude, <laughs> I'm sorry. They're all, yeah, Bonnie. <laughs> well, Janice, let's talk about exactly what you were doing there. Okay. <laughs> she was <laughs> squeezing her boobs and making a lion face and in yeah. weird-ass Egyptian on, makeup. I was on Percodan from the facelift. And this, uh-huh. I'm everything your readers want. To know about. <laughs> and Jamie's just jealous. Well, we have a wonderful interview with you in the new issue that's out today, and we correct, we 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 own up Thank to you. our mistake, Thank and you. we put your real age in just there. Just pay so me I'm for the interview, sorry. and I'll be a happy camper. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that's in in this issue. Yay. That's right. All Janice, Graduate all the time. You know what? If you want an exclusive, you can write that Danny Baducci totally fell off the wagon because it's going to happen in about an hour ten. Uh-huh. <laughs> I just want to scheduling it in. I just want to say to anyone out there that knows Bonnie and Bonnie's track record, I've known Bonnie and watched her grow from like all the magazines. She was the editor in chief of all these magazines that she really took hold and just turn turn them all into total successes and what look what she's done to star magazine my god it's wonderful what it you're doing awesome. oh, janice thank you so much and we love the new look yeah well thank you and we you love should, having you in it you <laughs> should see these 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 big publishers like staring at bonnie for like for the unveiling of like this week's what cover. you gonna do awesome. yeah and it's bonnie's <laughs> the one driving the bus up there i'm proud to be a woman <laughs> and knowing bonnie fuller all right so bonnie we oh want to know god. about this demi moore <laughs> ashton kutcher rumor Demi Moore asked, oh, about them getting married yeah, already? Yeah, and a secret cabal a whammy true? thing. Well, I, that is not according to our sources. Our oh. sources are the wedding is still on, but that it has uh. not happened yet. What's up with the way Ashton looks? He looks like a wax dummy already. No tan, wearing all that white. He is wearing all that white. We hear that he is going to ca- Kapala services every single morning oh. and Friday night. Rose and Kennedy. I guess Saturday morning, too. Wow. Where the hell maybe does he yeah, do this? Maybe it. she brainwashed. I, I think that the friends of Ashton should just, you know, talk some sense into this guy. He needs to go surfing and get a tan. This is Southern California. <laughs> you need a tan. <laughs> well, you know what it is? It's that little weird thing that happens to like Ben Affleck Ew. and well, Ashton. It happened Kutcher. to Guy Ritchie too. Oh my I mean, God! They cut oh, yeah. their Walking balls off. These, these hot, powerful, megalomaniac, super rich chicks cut their balls off. John Lovitz would never let me cut his balls off like that. <laughs> it, what they I are, Jack, the, is it's, they have these jacks. And they have little tiny little balls. No, up no, no. Oh, and they wear the red Madonna the bracelet. Cars, and they have those dicey things that get the furry balls. Oh, the furry, down from right, the, right, the right. Well, that's, that's, 
Let's talk about <laughs> let's talk about another strong woman. Let's talk about Britney Spears and how she flew her hot new lover over to London. Her hot her. new engaged yeah, but he, lover. He has a he has a child and he has this great hot Afro American you know live in. I know, and she he told we uh, we found out apparently they've split up. He he uh, he cut the cord with her. Yeah, because he, he had Britney's plane, money. But he was very upset because okay, you just mentioned Britney's money, but you know he goes to check in and his ticket's supposed to be waiting. He goes to first class. Uh uh-uh, uh, no oh, first class. Oh, she she flies him in coach. cargo, cargo. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. Yeah, you know, treat him mean, keep him keen, which is why I write books. Treat those guys mean, keep him keen. <laughs> wow, that is wow. funny. That's yeah, insane. And he's, you know, he's six foot one. He's not a little guy. He's Only in Star Magazine. That we is get the awesome. details. That's yeah. awesome. awesome. All right, do you have one last thing for us that we have to must read in uh, Star Magazine? Well, you've got to read about Mary Kate Olsen. <gasps> you've got to read about the, what's going on with her. What and is it? Look at the picture. Trampy. They look like 45-year-old, you know, like teetoiling, you know, old. Isn't one of them no, a puker? She, she is looking so skinny. You've got to check See? out the bones in purging, her back. Purging, binging and purging. Somebody Read my has book. Somebody has got to help that Me, girl. Janice Dickinson, the original. I can <laughs> you help can her. Help her. Oh help her. You've yes. got to have a talk with her. I want you to help one of those billionaire 17-year-olds because <laughs> they're all screwed up. The they yeah. can yeah. afford it. They can afford food. Bonnie, okay. Yes. Let's pretend like you and I are the parents of the Olsen twins. Yes. Who are you going to send them to to get help? Not Janice Dickinson. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I run Models Anonymous. I help young girls. <laughs> right. If you've got like a bunch of models and you're hiding them around the house so nobody finds them, uh, you need to get right to Models Anonymous. <laughs> we Work with to, us, we Bonnie. We need to send them to somebody who's going to, you know, help them. I don't Listen, know what I'm the president of food. I didn't need for 10 years. I didn't need for 10 years and I turned my life around. I learned the, uh, the secrets. No, and all what the, it is? The, Mm. And it's, we must say, I mean, you are looking good. Thank yeah. you. And you are you are looking slim, but you're looking healthy slim. Well, thanks. They and need Jamie's to look jealous. Healthy, slim. No, I I think your, your body looks fantastic. I think something's jacked up with your face. I think she yeah. should yeah. eat body, the other twin. She's just jealous. <laughs> Listen, the Olsen now, now, twins. Tell us about the Olsen. <laughs> well, the, okay, before I tell you more about the Olsen twins, the other thing you got to check out in this issue is speaking of bodies, Gwyneth Paltrow. Um, she's about to give birth. Mm-hmm. She's doing it in London. Mm-hmm. She's gonna. She's gonna. You've heard about the birthing pool, I'm right. sure. I I agree with her. It should be born American. Uh, Well, she is set. She has got her situation already, and apparently she's going to have a baby girl. Mm -hmm. It is a girl for Gwyneth. Arnold S. And she's not going to pick a name until she sees the baby's face. Yeah, traitor. Oh, that squishy, bloody <laughs> thing. Yeah. out of the country. Squishy, what bloody you, thing. What do you call it? Ew. What, what would you call Gwyneth's baby? Placenta Paltrow. Nice. I like it. Yeah. Placenta. We'll call yeah, it I want to know, yeah, what, what would you call her baby? Mm. Uh, I've seen both my children right after they were born, and uh-huh. if I looked in their face and named them, I would call them both, ew. <laughs> yikes, Martin. That's what you should call it. It's a yikes, yikes or an oops. I got one. Pasty white, yet bloody right now. Oh. Ew. Kind of a long name, got to fill out those credit cards. It should be megalomaniac Martin from moving out of the United States to have the birthing What the hell are you saying? She doesn't know. Bonnie Ford, Star Magazine. (laughs) The new Star Magazine on uh, newsstands now. Mary Martin. Mary. Shut up. Bye, Janice. Love you, Bonnie. Bye, Bonnie. Bye, Bye, Bonnie. Bye. bye. Look for me next week on her not normal. Thanks, Bonnie. 51. Anyone single in Maroon Five? I don't know, but I love them, Maroon Five. I mean, what about that guy? What about that guy from the Goo Goo Dolls? <laughs> oh yeah, what's his name? My wife, Johnny Resnick. Yeah, my, he's my God, God him. bring it. Smoking hot. All right, here's the deal. We're here with Janice uh, <laughs> Dickinson, <laughs> and she wrote the book. Everything about me is fake, and I'm perfect. It um, big old book signing tonight, seven o'clock. Big old soup. fake boobs. Uh, Bo- uh, Janice Dickinson and her big old <laughs> fake boobs will be at Book Soup tonight, <laughs> seven o'clock. Seven o'clock on Sunset. Be there. <laughs> 8818 Sunset Boulevard for those of you that count numbers to try to find location. Uh, a question. Location? How come you don't like George Maloof? We love him. He's our favorite. Because, you know, I walked by him and, you know, there were nothing you know, ruffled. The feathers didn't ruffle. So if you don't pay attention to me, like when I go to the Yankees Stadium, <laughs> even Barry Bonds looks at me. <laughs> You know, <laughs> Lovitz wrote this great intro for book three. Check, please. I'm only going to be single for a minute. Oh, that's Barry Bonds right now. <laughs> Can't talk. Okay. So, you know, it's like, you know, I expect everyone to look at me because I'm the world's first supermodel. Right. Absolutely. And I, so, I what? He just didn't look at you? Because no, Yankee Stadium wasn't even looking really at me or my Dolce Gabbana's. Trying to run a hotel? No. Oh, you know what? So, I'm a little spurned. Okay, George, if you're listening, you know, you could at least pay attention, you know. <laughs> you're not a little spurned. What? Spurned about Judge Maloofy.
The person you are calling is not available and at the time. Hey, George Please doesn't want to pick up. Message. So, George, I, I, I could invite to one to the of these hotels. Maniac. <laughs> huh? I mean, how can you not know to wait for the beep? <laughs> George! <laughs> George. I don't really know what we're doing to Are you right you now. Are you calling George Maluth? Yeah, Maluth. I was George Maluth. Yeah. So he didn't pay attention to the world's first supermodel in a Dolce Gabbana outfit <laughs> and borrowed Harry Winston earrings. <laughs> George. Jenna's hates you because something about Harry. <laughs> something about, I think she belongs at the Maxim Hotel and not Ita- the Palms. She had some Italian ice cream. <laughs> and... Just because you guys all get free comped rooms, that's Damn why right you're up do. his No, butt. it's just, let's see here. Britney Spears at the Palms, Janice Dixonson at the Maxim. I'd go to both. <laughs> you know what? Britney, Have you ever been to the Maxim? Britney has a it's drinking like problem. Oh. Britney needs to get control of her drinking problem. <laughs> yeah, George. <laughs> she oh, says a lot to wow. do with you. Oh, I forgot we're on with George. George, what are you wearing? <laughs> Bye, George. <laughs>